You, you spoke earlier on about, you know, perhaps um, calling for the lifting of certain restrictions in terms of, you know, importation restrictions on yeah. certain commodities. Yes. So, okay, cement might not be big uh, in your mind, on your mind, so to speak, but what would fit into this category you're calling for? Food. Okay, and, and rice, which, which commodities? Rice, rice. Okay. flour, sugar, because we consume a lot of bread, you know, and all that, maybe milk. And, but you see, the importation must be a buffer for local production. What am I saying? You must boost local production sub, uh, substantially. That should be the main focus. It must be the main focus. And then importation should be, let's, let's, let's subsidize, let's help, let's, let's try to alleviate, right? Huh. But if you bring importation as a substitute, and that has always been our problem, where we substitute instead of giving a buffer, we must stop giving buffers. We must stop substituting, right? It must be a buffer to local production. Local pro and listen, if you, if, you, if you do the maths, for instance, you look at how much, for instance, chicken, how much chicken we consume, right? And you see that the entire country, all the, all the indigenous poultry producers mm. can only produce for barely 10% of our population. Barely 10%. Barely 2 million, uh, 2 million uh, birds. Consumers, right. And you have a country of o o over 200 million people. So that difference. But we now have to start pushing for indigenous production to go, go up to 50 Sixty percent, and then the this importation com, comes in as a buffer. And by the time we attain food sufficiency, then you can now soft pedal on the on the uh, importation. 